Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you're watching this video from. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at organic chemistry, organic chemistry 2024. This question came in what, 2024, okay? So let's answer this question. The first one is saying, terylene and nylon are two common examples of macromolecules. The first question, which is question A, is saying, state the chemical name for terylene. State the chemical name for terylene. Now, the chemical name for terylene, terylene is a polyester. It's a what? It's a polyester. By the way, these two are under um, synthetic polymerization. All together, synthetic polymerization. Now, under synthetic polymerization, polymerization, you have additional polymers and condensation polymers. These two, nylon and terylene, are under condensation what? Polymers. Are we together? Very good. Are under condensation polymerization, so these are condensation polymers. Now, the chemical name for terylene is, a, is polyester. The chemical name for nylon is polyamide. Okay, polyamide. We are, we are safe, we're done with the first two. Let's go to the to B. By what process are terylene and nylon formed from their monomers? Ah, I've already explained this. This is by condensation. Condensation. Simple. C. Identify, identify the type of linkage found between monomer units in terylene. Since terylene is a polyester, then the linkage is the ester linkage. Ester what? Ester linkage. You see? Very simple, right? Mm-hmm. Now, nylon is a polyamide. So the linkage is an amide, amide linkage. Amide, amide linkage. Okay. Now, we have the last question here, which is question D. And it's saying lipids and proteins are also examples of macromolecules. Now, let me explain a bit before we go to the questions here. Like I said that under polymerization polymerization we have two types of polymerization you have uh, synthetic polymers and um, natural polymers okay synthetic polymers these are artificial polymers man-made poly polymers now natural polymers natural polymers these are polymers that are found in naturally in plants or animal uh, material such as lipids and proteins so lipids and proteins are good examples of natural polymers now the first question is saying distinguish between terylene and lipids distinguish between terylene and lipids let me just erase this and explain okay i want to explain something here so that you understand take note of this before we distinguish, let's, let's know that terylene and lipids, they have the same linkage. Okay? They all have the uh, ester, what? ester linkage. So they are similar in terms of link linkage, but they are different when it comes to polymerization. Terylene, since I have told to differentiate, 
So you can say terylene is a synthetic synthetic polymer while asset lipids are natural polymers simple you see simple that's so that's, that's the difference between terylene and lipids but if your question was to compare they are both they, they are both uh, uh easter they all, all they both have easter linkage okay they both have easter linkage so this is number one number two is saying compare proteins and nylon compare hmm. no no this nylon here is a synthetic what polymer specifically a condensation what polymer this one is a natural polymer it's a natural polymer specifically um it is what uh it is condensation okay polymer now what is common here you can say they both you can say they are both they are both formed by condensation condensation that's it you see organic chemistry is very simple guys very very what very simple if you've enjoyed this video why can't you give us a like a comment if you if you haven't understood please ask in the comment section thank you so much